Well, as you can see, I've got my uh, small clays back, and I've got bids on all of them. All right, I'm uh, back on uh, this piece, which is called, uh, right now, Real Wealth. And what I mean by that is this older trapper has finally taken on a partner and a wife uh, after trading several horses and uh, furs for her. And uh, they're building a family. Um, they got their first child and, and uh, it's in early fall. And uh, he's just admiring the fact that he's now a father. So anyway, I'm going to continue working on this robe. I don't think I'm going to film everything I do today because it's going to be pretty boring. Uh, I'll make that decision as I work along. Uh, just uh, doing a little touch-up work and uh, that's about all. If you want to, if you're in the area, 7th, 8th, and 9th, of August, uh, look up their website, sculpturedepot.net, and uh, the, on it they have a map <coughs> showing where their store is in Loveland. And uh, pretty sure I'm going to be there from about uh, 10 a.m. in the morning until uh, in the afternoon sometime every day for those three days. If I feel like I might stay one extra day, I don't know. But anyway, I would love to see some of you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, out there. You want to stop in? All right, time to get busy on this fur, and uh, I'm going to quit talking now.
I've decided to do is I put just a small gesture of a smile as cheek is raised up just a little bit on this side. <coughs> and instead of putting a big floppy hat on his head, I'm going to put a bandana that he, he's tied to keep the sun off his head. Um, What I'm going to show you now is how I'm going to make fringe. I run the clay slowly through my processor here. And then I cut it into sections and I run it through the uh, spaghetti maker.
Voila. Voila. Instant fringe. And that's why I put the uh, line on his shirt, because I wanted to have a seam that was uh, even. And I'm going to have the fringe <coughs> underneath the blanket at some points. I'm going to do now I'm going to go make me a tool to make the fur texture on the buffalo fur so I'm going to go make that right now all right I don't know if you can see it let's get it up here I went back in the back and took uh, the end of one of the uh, wire tools and what I did was I on a little band saw cut some uh, grooves in it let's see if it works Yeah, it doesn't work too bad. Well, I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got uh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription all right back to the video Okay, I think that's about as far as I'm going to get today. I'm going to go ahead and texture the fur a little bit. Got to get a hole or two filled, like right there. Can't have deep holes. I like uh, the way the fur is kind of uh, framing in his face and it kind of looks kind of cool from the side view. I will work on this more when I'm in Colorado. I just want to get it far enough along that uh, I wouldn't have to do any major work on it. Or another threat. I turned her head just a little bit 
towards his and uh, uh, stick some clay up under her chin because it's a little bit narrow. Because I moved her chin away from the uh, baby, it left a kind of a hole there. So I've got to uh, I don't have a wire going through it so it doesn't want to stay. That looks pretty cool. I got a good track though. So I'll take it away. Alright, uh, that will be it for today. I think I will work on this more or less when I get to uh, Colorado. I've still got the hair to do, the ties for the uh, back of the bandana. I haven't done that yet. But I must leave myself something to do when I get there. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. Good night, everybody.